Hey Go Small, Live Large viewers. Thanks for tuning in today. Got a special, special treat. Guess where I am today? Looks like your average strip mall, right? Nope, only the best for you guys. That's right, I'm at Winnebago Motorhomes. So today I have a really special treat. Um, Mick, my uh, my sales guy here at Winnebago Motor Homes, is going to join us in just a couple of minutes inside. He has in stock a Travato KL, brand new, factory fresh, just arrived in the last few days. This unit, like mine, has a couple of features. We'll ask him some questions about that as well. The acrylic windows, uh, the front windshield blind system. I'm really excited about that. Um, but primarily we're just gonna get some questions uh, answered about the uh, Volta lithium system. And uh, uh, so he's a really great guy. Really excited for you guys to meet him. So let's jump inside and uh, say hi to Mick. So now we're inside and here's a very special person. This is Mick. Mick at Winnebago Motorhomes. Mick, good to see Thank, you. Good to see you again. Thanks, uh, thanks for coming out and joining the channel today. Yeah. Maybe just introduce yourself yep. to the folks. And Mick Franklin, I'm with Winnebago Motorhomes here in Rockford, Illinois. So I appreciate you coming out and seeing us again. Absolutely. Today. And Rockford, in case you don't know, if you want to you know, Google map that out, is about 90 minutes west of kind of Chicagoland. So. Yes. Mick is uh, really a special guy for me. Now he's he, the guy that helped me with the Travado, but he's been a very patient person with me as an expecting father. My Travado is about a month away and I bug him pretty frequently and he's been super patient. So if you're looking to get a great deal on a really awesome Travado, look up Mick and he'll, uh, oh, yeah. he'll hook a brother up or a sister up. So well, uh, maybe just tell us a little bit about Winnebago Motorhomes. It's really an unusual name. I would yep. think that Winnebago would own it, but you guys do. Yeah. we. My grandpa actually started the business. Uh, this is our 51st year. Wow. Um, he started by going out to the factory and actually buying a motorhome for himself, bringing it back, thinking that's what he was doing, and he brought it back. He sold it, and that became the birth of Winnebago Motorhomes here. And, and we're in Winnebago County, and the town of Winnebago, which is where our family went to school and stuff like that, is just you know five ten minutes away and so that's how we you know the that's name cool. came not really it was because of Winnebago County and the town of Winnebago and it all fit and worked out great and <laughs> now with the, with the world of internet that that's name awesome. has been awesome for us yeah so. oh, I bet I bet you Google search that and you guys yes. pop up right. uh, yeah. so Winnebago well, runs know. in the family and in your blood and yeah it's been through and through that's yeah. really so you're like third generation third now? generation that's amazing so he's the guy uh, so now we're a little bit closer to the KL here so um, see a green glowing dot way up here Whoa. so maybe make you yep. kind of tell us a little this bit is, about the Volta system and this is just basically like a fuel gauge fuel basically gauge. what it's going to show but it's okay. you know and it, we're, when it's fully charged or basically fully charged it's going to glow green okay. and as we use the system the gauge is going to fall but then also if we get down below 40 percent that's going to change it from a green glow to a yellow glow glow okay. and then you know if it gets down below 20 percent then it's going to glow red and then if it gets too low it will shut the system off um, unless we have the the auto I don't know the correct term auto yeah, the engine start, start system, system. Yeah. Um, you can have that on there and it'll start up and go to high idle to help charge that system as well and also the the round button is basically like what our disconnect switch used to be on a standard coach okay. you, you push that on or off to, to shut everything off in the system in the coach so if I were to shut that off, there's a little bit of a time delay, uh, that green light will go off and then all your lights and everything inside will shut off as well. So it's running on the lithium system? It is running on the lithium so system right in. now. We're okay. not plugged in at all right now. And okay. the same thing, when we go and hit that, turn that back on, the green light comes back on, give it just a few seconds and then this system will the come system back on. This system back up. Wait for it. Wait, there's a beep and <laughs> all of our lights are back on. Just love saying that word. Um, so maybe tell us what, um, what what does a lithium system overall do versus a generator under the coach? What's yeah, the, lithium? It's just a, a battery. A, you know, it's a battery pack that stores and lithium just stores so much more power, power okay. than what a standard battery is going to store for you. Um, so even like here, where we're not plugged into 110 volt power, we can still run everything in the in the motorhome. Um, we got solar panels on top that's going to charge, help maintain everything, and we can even run 
a roof air conditioner, which is unheard of with any other type inverter type system. Yeah. You'll never run that off of, you'd have so many batteries, you wouldn't have room to keep them and you wouldn't have the weight to pull them around. And with the lithium system with the Pure 3 here, I mean, you can really help conserve energy and stuff too because you got an inverter button back there too. So if you're not running anything 110, leave that inverter off and it'll help, you know, prolong Extend the life the, of that uh, yeah. lithium power That's life. really cool. So let's take a look at that, uh, a couple of the internal systems real quick. Uh, Mick is going to show us, uh, there's a whole bunch of fancy buttons back here and Mick is going to tell us a little bit about the uh, the Volt in particular, the in, uh, inverter. And it makes it fairly simple. There's just three buttons. Um, we got one just to turn the display on or off. And uh, the other one is just to turn the inverter on or off. The third button is more of an info button or to change settings in there that you normally probably won't mess with a lot. The mainly what you can do is just turn the, either the display on or off or turn the inverter on or off. And the only time we have that inverter on is if we're actually going to be using a 110 volt appliance when we're not plugged into 110 okay. and use that lithium power pack. Well, the guts and brains of the operation for the Volta system is down below. And underneath your bed. Previously, I took this panel off just for the, our display. It normally covers this up so you don't normally see that. But that's what's gonna monitor the lithium um, power pack, kinda power it up and charge when needed. And so not really a whole lot you're gonna do here, but that's just kinda showing you where that system's guts and brains of the outfit is located. So imagine you're a coach uh, late at night and you got these big green glowing buttons. What's the solution to that? Magnetic cover. Is that groovy or what? Buying these systems, it's it's the lithium at a little bit of an expense of the the water holding tanks, but yeah, you still got 18 gallons of fresh water capacity, and then we got 13 gallons of gray and 12 of black. I might have those reversed, but it's 13 and 12 on your holding tanks. So it's still a pretty good capacity. Mick, there's a, two of the things in here that, that really kind of attract me and are, are coming on my coach, and that is the acrylic windows and then the blind system up front. So when I was uh, buying my coach and, and worked with Mick on, on the uh, on the options, uh, we really went back and forth on the window options. It was kind of an expensive option, but um, having seen the difference um, with the much lighter, brighter, full area um, we we chose that option so maybe make just kind of show the folks what that's yep. about a thermal window so it does the thermal pane window they're a very secure window it's got three latches on them when you go to open those up and then they're like an awning and you, you wow, push it out that's you, so nice and they and you can go full extension then they'll bring them back down just open it all the way up and it comes back down the other thing on your latches here, you there is a second latch that you can leave that window partially open for ventilation. So it's a little tiny crack that allows little, little, air to come in. Correct. And then the nice thing with a um, fantastic fan and up there in your ceiling, if you leave a couple of your thermal pane windows open um, at night, you can still you know close those up, have a screen or a blind. So if you leave partial that blind, the screen open, turn your fan on, and you get a nice ventilation Breeze, through right here. Through the system. Is, Even at night, you know, with some privacy stuff. Yeah. So we're sitting in the front cab, and Mick is going to give a quick demo of the um, the front blind system. A lot of people have really creative uses of uh, of curtaining and privacy, and and uh, this was a nineteen option which uh, was really affordable I was pretty amazed um, that covers all the front glass so um, let's take a peek at what that looks like the rails come up first and snap into a bracket right below your visor and this will do the same way okay then once those are in, wow comes up and closes off your front windshield. Um, that was two kind of novices in about 15 seconds, folks. <laughs> One novice for sure, first time for me. You've done it a million times. That is really amazing. Then you can also bring this down to help close out some more of that. that yeah, and this too. whole thing pops up in the middle. Yes. Sir. Nick, thanks again for uh, showing us a little bit about the KL for love and lithium. Uh, appreciate really it. appreciate it. Uh, Love to have you any time. Absolutely. Well, next time we're going to be having a, a birthing party, so we're bringing balloons, cigars, champagne. All right. uh, you're like the Dr. Mick, delivering the baby <laughs> to a proud father. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. It's going to be really great. So thanks again for joining the channel today. Thank really you very much. It. You appreciate it. Okay, thanks, man. Have a great day.